Okay, so we are moving and we've got a Tesla Model Y. So we wanted to test the towing performance of the Model Y today. And this is a best this is the best opportunity to do it. So we're just here at Home Depot. Uh, we've never towed anything before, but these are all the things that we have to buy. First of all, you buy your your towing receiver. This is a two inch class three receiver up to 6,000 pounds but remember the Model Y is only rated for 3,500 but uh, we have the extra peace of mind for that and as per the user manual this is a three-quarter inch rise as you can see there and that's what's required for the Model Y two inch tow ball the uh, trailer we're going to be renting uses a two inch tow ball when, when you buy the receiver make sure the thread fits in there like that test fit it before you buy it flathead screwdriver to undo the uh, cover model y cover for the tow receiver um, safety chain links and the hitch pin you can waltz with the hitch pin make sure it fits kind of dry fit it at the store as best you can um, so okay so that's all the oh and of course the the wrench uh, to tighten the, the tow hitch ball nut. Definitely dry fit the nut at the store um, just to make sure that it tightens properly. You got the right size. All right, so now we're gonna remove this uh, tow hitch cover uh, with, with a flathead screwdriver. And we're gonna, just gonna put something in between the flathead screwdriver and the and the um, bumper, this, I just had this old glove here. And just to kind of reduce the damage, you want to start the top and kind of pry out and undo all of the clips there. I got all of the latches, all the little um, pry latches out. They're all over, you can see. Starting at the top, you've surrounded them with these little um, latches. And you gotta be really careful. These things, um, they can fatigue pretty easily. But, finally got this off. And there's the receiver hitch right there. This was factory installed by Tesla got your seven pin connector here and this is a two inch receiver right here so with that now we'll show you guys how to put the uh, receiver on and get all hitched up okay now we're gonna take the receiver if we can take the hitch we're gonna put it inside the receiver we're gonna keep the hitch pin and the clip handy so you want to make sure that it's a rise um, so the hook should be up so that the hitch point is above the receiver it's really important you don't have to go all the way in just kind of put it in there and then take your pin go from the right and jiggle the hitch around until it pill pin slides in and then get the clip and just clip it in just like that quick test and we're good to go all right now we're gonna install the hitch ball so put the ball in first See, it lines up the two grooves here. We're going to put the washer and the nut.
third part. Let's get this wrench and finish the job. So I think now we are good to hit something to it. All right, let's go do that. A little more. Yeah, come on back, boss. A little more. Right there. the trailer onto the ball. Okay. You want to latch, it, it gets uh, kind of finicky and a little hard to do, uh -huh. but do what I did. Uh, if you do it with your regular hand on that metal, it'll hurt your hands. Okay. okay. Then lock that in place. Okay. This is an experience for me too, kids. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> the right way to. I got it, I got it. Hey. Is that right? Yep. Uh -oh. Okay, so the hook's face that way. Yep. Alright. So, does a trailer of this size need brakes? Yep. Trailer brakes? Yep. A lot of times on these, to shorten up the wire. You can, oh. you can wrap it up around, maybe do a little funky, funky chicken dance on it. <laughs> the tricks of the trade. Yeah. Hook it up into the adapter first. Just stick it on down in there. And, then seven, seven. and it's in. All right, cool. So the chain doesn't drag. Neat way to make it shorter. Kids, you are good to go. Awesome. So to to unhitch it, turn it down. Hitch this back. Yep. I guess that's as far as she goes. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now you got it. You can turn it the other way. Right and tidy. That's a, uh, before you go any further, uh -huh. you want this loose just in case. Pull the pin. Pull this up. Right here. Pull that up. Okay. Then it unlocks it. Okay. Then, then you lift it up. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just try that real quick. Yeah, you see how... Oh, okay, there we go. It just popped out. Yep. All right. I'll drop it back on. All right. Now, let me, let me try that, that trick you were saying earlier. Here, here. Right. You want to go forward. And, and just hit. Okay. Hit so it doesn't... So you don't break a finger or bone in your hand. Yep. Sounds good. Then pull that pin. Just like that, boss. All right. Sounds good. Wonderful. Great. Thanks a lot. Awesome. That was very helpful. Thank you so much. Yeah, you guys are welcome. Yeah. Turn it. When you're uh, turning. Yeah. Don't turn normally. Yeah. Like go go really wide out. Yeah, because yeah. Uh, when you turn normally, the tires on the trailer can hit a curb yeah and just take a little extra wider turn up both ways 
Yeah. And you'll be fine. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. So when we plugged in the trailer uh, back there, um, Tesla recognized that the trailer was plugged in and automatically activated trailer mode. As you can see by the little icon here, you can see here trailer mode is activated. Uh, and there's a little infographic about trailer mode. The, some driver assist features are, are disabled. So, all right, let's uh, let's head on out. Yeah, we got this uh, five by eight foot trailer here. You can see it's a uh, size of a, with a really big pickup truck bed, and we can still open the trunk. Look at all the space we've got here still. So you could really you could really haul a lot with this Tesla. You do want to make sure though that you're not exceeding the weight capacity. Yeah, so the uh, backup camera on the Model Y is really, really nice. As you can see on the lower left and the lower right, you can make sure that you're not uh, scraping any sides, any curbs with the trailer there. Me, especially, I'm not used to driving a trailer, but I've got full confidence with the right and left uh, rear views that I'm not scraping anything. We just left the parking lot, so so far the the ride feels exactly the same as before. It just sounds like you got a lot of junk in the trunk, but so far nothing significant. I think the rear view camera there is a really, really nice peace of mind. If you're not getting it, remember you have to swipe up. It's a new new firmware update. If you swipe up in your rear view camera, you'll be able to see the left and right rear facing camera views right there. All right, so we are now on the highway. With the, we're towing the trailer on the Model Y. And it looks like auto steer is not available. However, Adaptive cruise control is available. So again, this is in this is in trailer mode. Adaptive cruise control works fine, but you can see the auto steer uh, is the like the auto steer icon is not showing up, and it does not activate when I push the right stock down twice. You can see auto steer is temporary. Kind of so those are the current limitations. Model Y towing currently an empty trailer, and we're gonna do some. Uh, range testing to see uh, how our mileage or what what hours per mile reading is, is, is going to be affected by having this trailer behind us so we'll see all right so we just got to our destination with an empty trailer uh, we're looking at 363 watt hours per mile or 13.1 miles We'll redo the journey without the trailer to see what the benchmark is for this leg. All right, so we are on the on the highway with a uh, Tesla Model Y trailer on the back. 
it's fully loaded up with all of our stuff. I would guess about about a thousand pounds back there. Um, you could definitely feel the weight behind you. It's not unstable or anything. The the Tesla is just so heavy that uh, I'm not feeling any sort of sway back there whatsoever. For the most part, it's not even like the trailer's there, except for when you accelerate and brake. You can definitely feel it. I would say maybe both acceleration and braking performance is affected about 20%. Uh, for the same amount of foot travel, which I'm used to, I get about 20% less uh, than a completely unloaded Model Y. On this route, from our old home to the new house, I'm used to seeing around 300 watt hours per mile and we'll see how much performance we get on this route with the fully loaded 5x8 trailer and some stuff in the back seat. Just one more quick note. It seems like when you're in trailer mode, uh, the lane departure warning does not does not happen. So, all right, we've made it here, and uh, final reading: over 20 miles, we came in at 424 watt hours watt hours per mile. Um, we'll do this trip again without anything loaded to give a good benchmark. But yeah, that's what the Tesla Model Y towing a trailer with a bunch of stuff in it and a bunch of stuff in the back.